Bidding farewell to the Amakosa king. The president described him as a visionary leader who advanced social cohesion. We have lost a great leader. His Majesty's passing is indeed a reminder of the shortness of our life on this earth. It is a reminder to us to spend our time on this earth wisely in performing good deeds and in being of service to others as His Majesty was. The President said the nation had lost a respected leader who was a pillar of the community and a solid partner to government. He has left behind a legacy of a visionary leadership that will live on. He may have passed on to the next life, but the example he set on the meaning of leadership, on advancing social cohesion, and also on service to one's fellow human being will be imparted beyond his brief time on earth. Just before former President Tabombeki took to the podium, a breach of traditional protocol, a woman praise singer, disallowed. In his tribute, Mbeki reminded Monasa about the king's anti-xenophobic sentiments. I firmly denounced attacks against foreign nationals resident in our country, calling out down with xenophobia. While Mbeki applauded the government for honoring the Amakosa king, criticism from the Ndebele kingdom that government was neglecting traditional leaders. As kings, we are very saddened by the fact that the treatment meted out to the late King Zueloke and many other kings by our own government leaves much not to be desired. Our government has failed His Majesty King Zueloke and all of us. Other royal houses also paid tribute. We are here as Abatembo to say to you that be consoled. God doesn't make mistakes. He went to a better place. Also from neighboring Lesotho, Death is a necessary end. The late King Sitawu was honored with a state official funeral category one, which included a full military service. Ntlantla Khatani, SABC News.